Hey guys, it's Daisy Conditioner, and welcome back for another small teaser trailer reaction. And this time it's going to be the third Sumeru trailer, I believe. That's not one I want to do. Um, so, apparently this, and, and the thumbnail shows, and the thumbnail shows a character we haven't seen before, so let's see who this character is. Um, again, if you guys enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, I'll probably see this at the end, but yeah, after we watch, I'll give my thoughts on it and a quick review. And yeah, let's just get started. No reason to stall. Okay. So I think that's like the main city. Whoa, this music. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shumi 大部分的人们尤其是成年人似乎都是不会做梦的所以也有了虚迷人不会做梦这样的说法而当地人也会认为这是一种理性与智慧的象征而非常自豪虚迷森林恰到好处的湿度和土壤非常适合训练的繁
Hynarius. Okay, so he's a Merlot researcher. Now, Merlot apparently is like one of those, like, apparently the academia has a ranking system, I guess. The sages are the highest ranks. And then apparently he's in the Merlot. And the researcher, he also is a forest watcher as well. I think we're going to be meeting this guy first. You, um, in my opinion, knowing that he's the first 5 star we get when it comes to Sumeru. I'm pretty sure he's a 5 star. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong on that. Leakers, actually don't because I don't like you guys. But, so he's known as a forest watcher. And apparently he actually, apparently there's a girl that works with named Kale. Anyone knows who read the manga knows who Kale is, apparently. And she's going to be a Dendro character as well. A uh, bow user, I believe. 4 star. So this is really cool. Um, this guy right here. Okay, so this guy. Now I haven't looked at leaks at all, but um, p people who looked at leaks uh, and like I, I'm 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 on a I'm on multiple Genshin servers, one I'm, I'm very prominent on, and people kept on commenting on this guy looking like Sue. If you guys don't know, don't know Sue is the Seventh rank flame chaser of the Honkai of Honkai Impact, also also known as Bodhi, and I even mentioned Sue. I also even mentioned that Sue would have been represented in Sumeru as well because I thought he was Baishu's variant. I'm wrong, so there goes that theory out the window. Baishu, I have no idea what's up with him. All height um, I I'm so sorry for the people that try to pronounce for the people that's gonna chastise me. I am so sorry. I can't pronounce names for anything. So apparently he's giving the Sue variant, I guess. He looks really similar to Sue. He's from the Haravata in the Academia. I'm, I'm assuming Haravata is another ranking. I need to look back into the Academia. Uh, I looked into it several times, but I need to look more into that. We can continue on here. And apparently... So, th so this is the character that people are like, sipping over. Dehi, I believe is her name. And it looks and she is a, and it looks like she's a mercenary and from from the element on the vision I feel like she appears to be pyro. Really interesting. I don't know what's up with her arm. No idea what's going on with the armor there. But she looks cool, I'm not gonna lie. And then we have Neil Ho. I how do you pronounce the name? Yeah, like Mulu? Neolo? I Neolo, I don't know. Um She chose to pursue Ardent Dance. And from the looks of her, I have no freaking clue, man. Hydro user, cryo user, she could be anything. She she can little, she can maybe be a callus user. I have no freaking clue. Um, I didn't see your vision. And then this girl right here. Now we know her name confirmed. Nahida. Now, for all of you people that looked at leaks about these characters, you guys should know who, exactly who this girl is. I'm not gonna say anything, but. Nah, okay, so that's her original name. That's so that's her name. Okay, now he does. I was really curious about this girl. Um, I wonder who. I wonder what she is gonna be doing. I have no idea because I don't look at leaks. Maybe I have no idea. Although, although that painted to green was really suspicious. I'll just shut up now. And of course, we had the uh, General Mata Mahamatra Sino. And of course, people were immediately recognize this guy from the trail trailer as Sino was the character showcased. I honestly thought Sino was gonna be the first five star to show up in Dendro. I guess not. I was sorely wrong. And I thought it was, a, and I originally thought it was a sword user. People were saying how he's a pull arm user. I have no freaking clue what that weapon he's holding right down, right there. I have no freaking clue. It looks like a pull arm, so I guess he is a pull arm user. What well, element he is? I have no freaking clue. Maybe Geo. He looks, he looks like Geo. So there's that as well. So I think it appears that these guys are like going to be the five stars, I guess, because I because they if they're going to show like different similar characters, they will show Kaole and Dora because we didn't know the other six. They even show Tainari, so I guess this confirms Tainari as a five star. But they haven't shown Kaole and Dora, so I'm assuming they're four stars, and these guys are the five stars of so this one, the main ones. What their release, what the release is going to be like, I have no freaking clue. I guess I'm going to be busy. I'm, I guess I'm going to be busy working on my banner predictions now, unless the ban unless. Banners has been leaked. If that's the case, I'm just gonna turn away from it because again, I'm tired of leaks. But let's look at the enemy design though. Look at these enemy designs. They look freaking cool. Um, this looks like a chocobo. I don't know, but I actually really like these enemy designs, and I'm so glad that we have over, like a full-on lion right here, just to show like tiger, I guess. Did I just say lion? Tiger. 
to showcase the jungle like aesthetic. I love this concept. And we have these guys which we saw in the initial Sumeru teaser. Not the 2.81, the initial separate teaser. We also have the fungi enemies, we saw in the chasm. So of course obviously they're gonna come back as well. And we have these little things. More fungi enemies that we haven't seen before. But I wanna go back to the story thing. By the academia. Obviously we know. So like so so the academia is responsible and the sages of the academia are responsible for this one. They're so I at least got this thing right on. I, I talked I'm talking about right now in the theory video that I'm editing in the moment. Hopefully I can get it up before the Sumer before the Sumeru drop. Or the Sumeru special program drops. Hopefully. It's managed as a resource, obviously, yeah. And this is done. A Gnosis powered legacy led by the Greater Lord Rukhat Vetat Vedata. Rukhat the I I'm I am i am just gonna say I'm just gonna say the Greater Lord. I can't pronounce this name, I'm sorry guys. But this system was left by the previous Dendro Archon, which is odd. I'm even gonna translate this and it's gonna be giving me like so much answers and, and more crap about there is to look into. I have no freaking clue. The Akasha system, again, more translation stuff like you look into and they have something on their ears. Uh looks like it looks like the dendro symbol, definitely. But a lot more curved and looks like more of like a earpiece. Kinda cool. Kinda cool looking. What's another interesting point? Most people are incapable of dreaming. How interesting because in Golden Apple Archipelago, spoilers you guys, um Kusanali is confirmed as the Archon of Dreams. So we have this little thing to consider right here. I'm curious I I'm so I'm curious. Adults aren't capable of dreaming. So by they're not capable of dreaming, are you saying they're oblivious to Kusanali's existence then? Is that what they're trying to like hint towards? People with Sumeru don't dream. Locals take part in this thing as a testament to the rationality and wisdom. Hold on, wait. So adults and there's some of the locals, but they actually do take. Pr wait. Hold on, wait. Oh no 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 no! People like the not dreaming part. They take it as a. They take they they're prideful about it, seeing that as a testament to their rationality and wisdom. So apparently if you're dreaming then you're no longer wisdom. So the oblivious to dream is what's preventing them from getting wisdom. I guess that's what they're trying to head towards. I that would mean the the enemy of the enemy of wisdom is wisdom itself. Their pride and their wisdom is be, is blocking them from dreaming. In the case of Kusana being the god of dreams, that'll make them oblivious to her, not gain the true wisdom that they're being completely oblivious to. How curious. Uh, moving on. Okay, it's just focusing on enemies. So I think that's the part. That's it for like the general story part. But yeah, this is actually really cool. I can't wait to see how the story of Sumeru is gonna is gonna unfold. I'm looking forward to it. I'm just I'm just gonna leave the screenshot right here. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave the screen right here for you guys as I end out this video for no reason whatsoever. And yeah, I think that's just my that's gonna be my take on how Sumeru is gonna go. I'm looking forward to these characters, honestly, especially um Nahida and the the Sue clone. I'm just calling the Sue clone because I cannot pronounce his name. Uh, that'll be it for me. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I know I need to upload Golden Apple and Castle Story Quest. I know that I need to upload that. I'm working on them right now. Don't worry. The Castle is probably going to be uploaded tomorrow, or they're going to begin to be uploaded tomorrow. It's going to be a three-parter, and that'll be it for me. And of course, obviously, I'm working, working on my Sumeru store prediction. That's what I'm working on next. But yeah, that'll be it. A Secretioner signing out. Have a good one, guys. Hope you're excited for Sumeru, just like I am, because I for sure am.